An interstate construction project in southern Indiana has community leaders looking for ways to increase business opportunities and jobs. In tonight's Economy Watch 10, News 10's Mike Grant reports I-69 may prove to be a key for existing companies to grow into global marketplace. Dust is flying and the heavy equipment is moving as the construction on I-69 east of Washington moves ahead. The highway's long been touted as an opportunity to develop the area economically, and area leaders say they have to be ready to cash in. We're looking at exports. We have a transcontinental highway that we're going to be driving on within the next 18 months. So we are staged. The U.S. Department of Commerce provided some of that staging, talking with mayors and economic development directors about building business through exports. You don't have to be big to export. You don't have to be a giant multinational, but a small company from Indiana can compete and win in global markets. Currently, 43% of Indiana's exports either go to Mexico or to Canada. Local officials say they want to make sure that their local businesses are up and ready to go when this interstate is finished. Now, everybody wants the next Toyota, but realistically, how many Toyotas are out there? So when you talk about how you can impact your community and the opportunities for the communities, this is certainly a side of the equation you need to look at. As the construction progresses, officials say businesses need to look at worldwide markets. We don't want Indiana companies to be roadkill on the global superhighway. We want them to compete and win in the global economy. And with the access to those markets under construction on their own doorstep, now's the time to prepare. In Washington, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. And to find out more about how businesses can get involved in exporting, go to our webpage, wthitv.com, and click on this story.